Okay, so let's scale this scale it up. If it's too big, we can always scale it down again after the fact. Okay. And we get these edges, I'm going to bevel them. Bevel, chamfer on. And I want four segments for this. Something like that. Right. And what I want to do here is I want to connect these points just to keep things quads. Okay. So that and this down here. To this point. And Oops, I get the right one. I missed it. There. There. So if you have a tool like this and you hit enter, it exits the tool. But if you press Y, you're just selecting the tool again. And so that's what I'm doing. All right. So when I'm done here, I just pick Y again. And then I can continue on. So from here here and then y here but there so y is just like redo tool or reuse tool let's go this way there you go right so you have quads still because this is a quad. One, two, three, four, right? And then for here in the middle, I can get my edge loops. And let's just say six, maybe. Say eight, or ten. Let's do ten. Ten, and this one, let's say eight. Okay, so that's pretty, uh, pretty even. I want to get uh, go back to my edge loop and go to relative distance. Now I'll just add here, so it doesn't collapse when you smooth it. Okay, so this this particular piece I intend to smooth at the end, so I'm, I'm checking every so often how it looks like smooth. Right. So first, I want a section where the coins are going to go. So what I can do is I can pick the faces, say here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's say that section. Actually, this might still work. No. Let's just go with this. Right? And I will extrude that, offset slightly. And then I'm going to use the circularize option. So shift, right click, and circularize components. What that will do is it will take whatever selection I have and it will make a circle out of it. And from here, I can just go back to my regular uh, scale tool and scale it in. Yeah. And then extrude that again. Extrude inward. I press three. That looks like this. And then I want to extrude this again, offset. And I want to scale this like so. Okay. 
And then I just want to arrange this so it makes a bit more sense. Okay, so this is going to be the slot where the coins go. I press three now, just like that. And I can grab these faces. And extrude them again. Offset very slightly, like zero one. Extrude again, going in. They press three. You have know, like that. It's a bit too wide. You can always just fix that. Yeah, but you get the idea. And I want supporting edge loops here, so I go around that. Um, so here. There we go. So I'm just flattening this out. There we go. And overall, just making it a bit thinner. All right, so the points are going to fit there. Then over here, I'm going to make an indention where you can put the lever that you just pull down if you want your coins back. So for that, let's go here, here. Yeah, to here. Okay, I'll select these. Make sure I don't get anything in the back that I don't want. Extrude, offset. Extrude again. Pushing in slightly. Pushing in a bit more. Like so. Very slight. Okay, so you have this section, and now we make the lever itself. Okay. And we'll start off with a cylinder, like so. And I'm going to turn the caps down to zero. I'm going to set my subdivisions, something not so high, because I know I'm going to smooth this out uh, afterwards anyway. So, yeah, something like that. Maybe smaller, but be smaller. Right? And I'm going to grab, say, these three and extrude them outward. Just going to say, okay, it ends here. Uh, Then I'm going to add my divisions. So let's just say relative. Actually, I want to adjust this first. There we go. Uh, 
So if you do that, let me let's not get this one, let's grab this one. Screw space. There you go. Better. That's it. Just, just, just. And then I can add my divisions. So, and just adjust again, just some more. Again, you're trying to keep a good edge flow, right? So you don't have stuff going like that, right? Keeping it as evenly spaced as you can. Here we have the handle getting smaller. Oops, come on. There we are. Work with me here. Pressing three shows me that this is what it looks like. That's okay. I want to get this thing going. Yeah. Extrude, offset. Extrude, push it a little bit. Extrude again, offset. Extrude, push out this time. Extrude, push out slightly, and offset in. Extrude again, offset, then push in. Slightly, push in again. Right, now if I press three, this is what it looks like. And now you have your handle that will rotate like so. Again, this would be a bit bigger. Right. Okay, so if I press control one, I have these guys here. And let's look. So this is obviously a bit too big. I can scale it down. Something like this. I'll just reposition this over here. And just connect it. Ah, I am missing some divisions going this way just to flatten out that. There we go. All right, so we have that going. Next thing is the card reader. Okay, so if you want to pay by credit card, there's usually a card reader. And then the other thing is where you insert your bills. 